Hi, this is Dr. Ben Morrill, Reptile Genetics Weekly, Episode 12. Thanks for joining us. And uh, thank you so much for all of the excitement and for people registering and being willing to send information and pictures and sheds to uh, help us figure out Desert Ghost even better. It's been really, really awesome to see that. We appreciate it. Um, I do want to give people an update on results. Um, so with everything else going on ever since the, the Desert Ghost announcement, we've had lots going on. Um, and then it certainly didn't make it better when Sean said we want to do free tests. <laughs> um, so anyway, we, we definitely appreciate it. And we're looking forward to over the next three months as all these snakes shed out and sheds come in uh, running all those. That'll be awesome. But it did kind of slow me down analyzing everything again. Um, the Desert Ghost announcement slowed me down the last time I was analyzing new results. And this time it's all of the, the new information with uh, the sheds coming in and all of that for the free testing. But but anyway, uh, we are having results go out. Some of the results go out today and we should have the rest go out tomorrow that I was hoping would go out this weekend. I'm just a little behind, but those are coming out. Um, all the sex determination results, both for colubrid sex determination and Ball python sex determination should all be out. So thank goodness for that. And uh, I will update you next week when the next round will be. I'm actually on vacation this week. So slow us down a little bit again. <laughs> but we uh, are very happy, very busy keeping things going. Um, I've been analyzing away in the mornings before my kids wake up. So it's it's all good. We're, we're keeping with it. And uh, so Kayla, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Good to see you. Uh, I actually forgot you were on vacation this week, so you're at the beach right now, aren't you? Yeah, at the beach. All right. Yeah, so it's, it's, hey, it's good to have you here. Um, <laughs> uh, well, and actually, I'm excited uh, for an announcement um, for he, for us here uh, regarding merch. Um, yes. So uh, as a thank you to you guys um, for all of the support and also, you know, uh, since you guys have been asking, we've decided that, hey, let's drop some merch um, so you guys can help support future uh, um, genetic test research. And also you can rep your RGI merch wherever. Um, so let me show you a little bit here. All um, the reptile shows. Wear it to all the reptile shows. Yes, please. <laughs> um, here, let me make it a little bigger for you to see. So we've got our... Um, We've got our store here that will be announced on um, Facebook and Instagram. So we're going to have uh, T-shirts, hoodies, stickers. So we have a cool sticker here um, that we think is cute. DNA test results, <laughs> reptile nerd. We use that for our social media. We think it's fun. Um, and you can get that on hoodies um, and all of these. They don't just come in black. They come in green, and blue, red, purple, and a bunch of other colors on different shirts. So we got a little something for everybody, we like to think, um, as well as the ball caps, similar to what Ben has. Um, and that also comes in all kinds of colors. So um, trying to trying to hook you guys up. And uh, um, yeah, uh, please let us know what you think of the merch. Um, and yeah, we hope that you guys enjoy it. I know I'm going to be getting, I might be getting a bunch for myself. <laughs> so... <laughs> I have um, to get a couple different colors of hats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You should you just have a different one for you know, just just swap them out every week. You know. Um, there you go. So yeah. So tell me about that desert ghost feedback um, and the stuff we've been getting there. Yeah, it's been great. We've uh, had on this run already did some tested some samples and we've got uh, quite a few posts that people have made and in social media. And even some YouTube videos that have been really cool to watch and thankful for, for people posting those. Yeah. Um, but I think we've got a, a few stories or screenshots uh, from, from what people have posted over this last week. Sure do. Uh, so we've got a little, got something. Uh, this is a post from Renee's Reptiles on Instagram. Um, it's like they've got some very cute snakes here that they sent off sheds for. Yes. Yeah, uh, here, actually, let me make that a little easier for us to read. There we go. Um, all right, we have another from uh, Gray Family Snakes. Yeah, so this was one that sent was sent in um, as a, a pos hat. 
So this was before the, the free testing uh, that they sent this one in. Um, so this was a POS HET, and it proved out to be HET for DGA and HET for DGB. So it's nice if you have a HET to have it be HET for both. Yeah. Super useful. Uh, let's see. In this one, we have, uh, this is from BC's Balls, um, the pick they've been wanting to take since the news that DG is polygenic dropped. Um, and uh, you commented that it was a really cool comparison. Yeah, I, this is the kind of thing I was hoping we would get with people are sending in a couple sheds. So in this case, these are two animals that have the same genes. They're both desert ghost, heck clown. And you can see one has more of the azanthic look and one has more of like a gold yellowish look. Um, so anyway, I, I really love, love that. It'll be cool to do the sequencing and be able to compare side by side what we see for DGA and D, DGB results. And maybe some more as we get more and more sheds, maybe we'll have a, some other genes that we'll be looking at that we find out are part of it. Like what we talked about DGC potentially and maybe others. But anyway, this is exactly the kind of things. Thanks, BC Balls. Uh, this is really cool. I'm very excited to be able to have genotype data alongside pictures like this. Yeah, well, that's awesome. Um, we also had from, uh, oh, wait, no, not quite not quite there yet. Although it still counts with the title I threw up there. Oh. <laughs> um, this was from Mercury Exotics. Uh, they said that they saw our video and figured they'd send uh, send in a shed from this pretty boy here. Um, they haven't quite figured out what his genes are, but he makes very pretty babies every time. And maybe he has some of that DGC action. So oh, that's a pretty one. It's an awesome color. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, no, that's just crazy looking. I'm sure he does make very pretty babies. Cool. All right. And we have, uh, this was from pins pythons. Um, they said, I think these girls came out pretty nice. Chocolate, hypo, Mojave, Poshet, DG. And uh, rare genetics, you'll be hearing from them. <laughs> uh, very cool dark jeans and then desert ghost on top. That's that's awesome. That'll be, you know, once again, cool ones to see the sequence. Be able to have the genotype right there side by side with what the, what the animals look like. That'll be really helpful. Yeah, I love that bluish look to them. Yeah. It's like a like a gunmetal gray kind of look. It's cool. Um, oh yeah, and uh, so really cool video uh, from Muscle Serpents University. Uh, did you want to talk about that, Ben? Yeah. So I, Dave, I've watched his videos over the years, and uh, actually, if I remember right, he had a carpet fest at his place for carpet python keepers and oh. and stuff species as well a few years back and I almost went but it ended up that I wasn't able to go but uh, he's in Florida I'd love to go see his place at one point but anyway thanks Dave so much for the for the video it was good information and uh really really thankful for the support yeah go check him out guys um I, I didn't get to watch uh, watch the video all the way through but it looked really nice uh, he, he has a good like like a good presence in the videos too he's fun to listen to um yeah see oh i really like this one uh so this was a younger person um who runs the account uh colubrid and crew on instagram and same thing on youtube and uh they made they made a how-to video for rare genetics for how to send in a shed and it was it, it's awesome <laughs> yes yeah, it's so, nice as a screen recording showing how to order in this case a colubrid sex determination test mm -hmm and how to prepare the shed and you know how much the quarter size piece to be able to put in the Ziploc and labeling the bag, mailing it in, what it's like getting results back. So yeah. I really appreciate that. That's cool to see. Yeah, and the uh, um, toward the middle of it, they have uh, <laughs> their hog nose, their hog nose had started shedding. So they just like gently held onto the shed and the hog nose just slithered out of it. So they had the, they were, they were talking about it um, there. And we're just like, hey, here's a, and here's Hognose shedding ASM ASMR with this awesome <laughs> cronk meme from the Emperor's New Groove. Uh, it's it's wonderful. Um, <laughs> and a beautiful Hognose snake, too. Uh, as, as a Hognose keeper, love it. Um, so that was that was real cool. Go, go give them some love. Um, we know we'll be sharing that video later because it's great. So thank you. Um, uh, yeah. 
Oh, um, this was a, oh, and this one was a shout out for a uh, cornucopia of creatures on Facebook. It looks like they're a corn snake breeder, I think. And uh, they sent in 29 more corn snake sheds last night. A total of 57 sent in for Ben to enjoy. Uh, <laughs> um, corn so. snake morph tests coming. It'll take some time, but, but yeah, mm -hmm. that's the first step getting sheds. Yeah. That's, they're, they're putting in their work. That's fantastic. Um, uh, and to the right there, that's a picture from, it's like a still from a viral video by Justin Dahl where uh, uh, he found this big old corn snake uh, out in the Everglades. And uh, he was just so impressive looking. I was like, I want to, I want to share that. Uh, so it'll be good stuff. Uh, let's see. And also for those of you who haven't seen this amazing collage made by, I believe, oh gosh, I forget her name. Uh, Kara? But I, I think it was Kara from the blood cell, um, which they're a shorty or a blood python and Sumatran short tailed python breeder. And they made this beautiful collage of uh, their girls on eggs. Um, so they have lots of amazing looking animals and they were sweet enough to let us uh, use this to, you know, encourage other shorty keepers to send in sheds to the, uh, for the development of um, sequencing and morph develop test development. So I uh, just wanted to show that off to you guys because it's really pretty and we'll be sharing it every once in a while. So, yeah. yeah. And I did get two different emails from some, Blood Python short tail breeders this week, just just these last couple of days, saying they've sent. There, there are people that have quite a few short tails, and so we've got dozens coming already. And any of you out there that have some, whether you have one or two or fifty or whatever, um, we are definitely getting to a point where we'll have enough short tail sheds. We'll be able to start designing. Yeah. Oh, that'll be awesome. Love, love to see some shorty tests out there soon. So awesome. Um, I think that might be our last slide. Yeah, I think that's our last slide, Ben. <laughs> well, also throw out there for the people that stayed till the end. Um, yeah. We'll have, have another cool announcement by the time we, we get on here next Monday. I'm Ooh. sure we already put it on social media. So another cool, fun thing we've been working toward that we accomplished. And uh, we have to leave you hanging for a little bit because it's not quite <laughs> right to talk about yet. But we, we will. By, by next Monday, we'll be able to talk about it. Yeah. All right. Well, good stuff. Um, got, uh, got anything else before we call it quits today? That's it. Just thanks again. It's a lot of fun to see the excitement and have the support and we will, we will keep cranking, keep running tests and designing new ones. All right. Good stuff. Well, thanks again for, uh, for tuning in guys. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, and yeah, share, share with your other reptile nerds. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you. Outro in three, two, one.